Hello friends, Ben here for Giant Loop, and today I'm gonna show you how I get my complete tire changing and tool kit in just my Giant Loop Possibles pouch. I never go on a ride without this pouch with my tire changing kit and tool kit in it. It fits on my DRZ here. As you can see, I've got it mounted to my Giant Loop tail rack. It fits in the pannier of my KLR 650. It actually fits inside my Mojave bag. I've done that before. And actually this bag is the exact same size as our fender slash number plate bag. So you could put everything that I have in here in one of those bags and mount it to your fender, even if you don't have a rack to put it on or a bag to put it in. I'm always impressed by how much gear I can get in this Possibles pouch. And I thought it might be interesting for you all to see just how much gear you can carry with you in a small waterproof road rugged, abrasion-resistant package in our Giant Loop Possibles pouch. Let's take a look at everything I have inside this bag. So worth pointing out that the Possibles pouch that I'm using is the old design with the gray logo. And if you order one now, get yourself one now, it actually has this much cooler color logo. So I just wanted you guys to see the updated design, but this one served me well for the couple years I've been using it. So I'm just gonna keep using this one, but I just wanted you to see what the actual new design looks like. Let me show you what's inside. There's a ton of stuff in here. I'm still amazed every time at what I can fit in it. Ugh, the tube is not cooperating, but you get the idea. So all of this is inside this Possibles pouch. I have three tire irons slash wrenches. I've got a 19 because that's what I need for the rear axle on my KLR. Got a 12 and a 14 millimeter. Inside this pouch is a valve stem puller and this is a core valve core remover. This is my full Suzuki OEM tool kit. I've got a toe strap in here, a pair of needle nose pliers, which I need because the rear axle on my KLR has a cotter pin that has to come out. Two of these rim savers that just help for when you're levering tires on and off and a CO2 inflator and a 21 inch tube, which will work in the front or the rear in a pinch. And I carry all this with me every time I'm on the bike because the most common thing that you're gonna run into out there is a flat tire. And so I've got everything I need here to change a tire and fill it back up and go my merry way and not have my day or my adventure ruined. And then some bonus tools, obviously these wrenches will work on other parts of the bike. And then everything in my Suzuki OEM toolkit. This is the contents of my Suzuki OEM toolkit. So all of this goes into my Possibles pouch and I just throw it on the bike and know that I'm good to go no matter what I encounter tire wise or you know, worst case scenario, I can get towed out of there. By the way, if you don't have a valve stem puller in your kit, get one. This thing is a freaking lifesaver. I think the most time consuming part of changing tires sometimes is just getting that valve stem through the rim. That thing makes it so much easier. And all of it, fits neatly in this giant loop possibles pouch, which is pretty cool. Let me show you how I get it all back in there. So the tube always goes in first. Tube goes in the middle. I put the tire irons down either side, give it some structure, and it's just the only place they really fit. Wrenches too, and try to, I try to spread the weight out evenly, so to put the heavy stuff evenly distributed on either side. The CO2 inflator goes on top of the tube, right here, and then these things just kind of go in there down the sides. They don't have a lot of weight or bulk. And the pliers, they go down one side. And everything else goes on top. So I put this in sort of on top. This is my toe strap. And I actually have a giant loop toe strap I keep meaning to throw in here, we sell one. I put that in on top to kind of push everything down and really keep this pointy thing on the valve core puller from impacting anything else. But I put it in and then on the very top here goes my Suzuki toolkit sideways. And then all of that, I can still get three rolls Three rolls. So this is fully waterproof with this setup in here because three rolls equals waterproof. Clip the side buckles in and it fits, like I said, on the rear rack of my DRZ. This fits in a pannier. Also Possible's pouches attach very easily to the Mototrek panniers, to the Coyote bags, and the Great Basin saddlebag. They're designed, all designed to work together. So you can move this kit from bike to bike to bike without ever taking it out of this bag, which is what I do. I'm always impressed with how much gear you can get in one of these Possible's pouches. I thought you guys might wanna see it. If you've got questions about my kit or about the Possible's pouch here, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Be happy to answer them or try to. I'll put a link to the Possible's pouch 
in the description below on giantloopmoto.com. Don't forget that all of our products are backed by our limited lifetime warranty. If you have questions about gear, you wanna know what gear might work well for your bike, don't forget that you can use the chat now feature on giantloopmoto.com to be instantly connected to our customer service specialist. It will be happy to help you answer your specific questions and help you find exactly the right gear for your setup and your needs. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more gear overviews and other great content. And don't forget that YouTube subscribers save 10% with promo code subscriber. Thank you for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.